Welcome friends, great to see you. So glad you're here to join me for today's story. Let's get started. Bravo, Maurice, by Rebecca Bond. One August evening in a small high apartment in the hot bustling city, something wonderful happened. Mama and Papa Marcella brought their baby boy home. His name was Maurice Duncan Marcella, and he had just been born. When Mama and Papa and Maurice arrived at their apartment, it was crowded with aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, and friends who would come especially to be there when Maurice came home for the first time. Everyone squeezed in to look. What is he going to be like? They all wondered. Look, he has my large hands, exclaimed Papa. He'll be a baker just like me. He has my watchful eyes, whispered Mama. He'll be a rider just like me. But look at his toes, laughed Uncle Eddie. They tap and twiddle like mine. He'll be a taxi driver just like me. Don't miss that nose, it's delicate like mine, smiled Grandmother Marcella. He'll be a gardener just like me. Maurice fit comfortably into the Marcella household, full of talking and laughing, cooking and clinking plates. Even after Maurice had gone to bed, he loved to listen to the comforting sounds all around him. He listened to Uncle Eddie whistling and the soft whirring of Grandmother Marcella's sewing machine. He listened to trucks rumbling and dogs barking outside on the streets below. And every once in a while, Maurice heard a marvelous thing that made him wrap his arms around himself and listen very closely. It was the sound of singing voices. They drifted up to him through his open window, like the sweet smell of bread rising from a bakery. As he listened, sometimes Maurice would sing along. As Maurice grew older, everyone in his family was eager to take him into the world they knew outside the apartment. They wanted to show Maurice all the things they loved to do. First, Uncle Eddie took Maurice out in his taxi into the hum of downtown. With your tapping toes, Maurice, like mine, Uncle Eddie chuckled. You were meant to be a taxi driver, just you wait. And it was true that Maurice liked sitting next to his uncle in the front seat of the cab. He liked turning the shiny buttons on the dashboard and watching the swirling streets from his window. But what Maurice liked most was listening to the sounds of the city. He listened to tires purring on slick wet pavement and bicycle bells ringing. He listened to cars honking and iron gates clinging and voices calling back and forth up and down the sidewalks. Together in Maurice's head, these sounds became his own city song. Wrapping his arms around himself, Maurice would wriggle contentedly in his seat and sing along. For Maurice, this was the best feeling of all. Soon, Papa introduced Maurice to his bakery. It was early in the morning and the bakery already smelled good. What do you say we try out those large baker hands of yours? Papa asked, winking. I know you will like it here. And it was true that Maurice liked working alongside all the other bakers. He liked rolling out the powdery hunks of dough and cutting the thick biscuits. But what Maurice liked most was listening to the sounds of the bakery. He listened to the soft, floury pat of dough being flipped and kneaded, the rasping ring of a whisk 
circling the sides of a metal bowl, the damp crunch of nuts being ground to meal. Together in Maurice's head, these sounds became the music of the morning bakery. Quietly as he needed great mounds of dough, Maurice would sing along. For Maurice, this was the best feeling of all. One day, Mama and Maurice took the subway together to her office. A writer needs to watch the world carefully, Mama whispered to Maurice, noticing everything like a spy. With your watchful eyes like mine, you will be good at this. And it was true that Maurice noticed many things in the busy office. He noticed the walls covered with notes and the half-eaten lunches, and the way the light changed in the window at the end of the day. But no matter where he went, what Maurice noticed most were the sounds in the old building. From every room there erupted the noises of furiously tapping, typing, and constantly ringing phones. Fast footsteps went clickety-clicking down the halls and chairs squeaked and groaned as writers leaned back to think. Together in Maurice's head, these sounds became the office orchestra. Lulled by the babble of machines and the buzz of movement, Maurice would sing along. For Maurice, this was the best feeling of all. It takes a good nose to know a good flower, Grandma Marcella told Maurice. And with your delicate nose like mine, you have just the right equipment. You will make a fine gardener, I'm sure. That weekend, Grandmother Marcella led Maurice into the greenhouse, where she worked behind the Morning Glory garden shop. And it was true that Maurice loved drifting from flower to flower like a honeybee and smelling the sugary scents. But what Maurice liked most was listening to the sounds of the warm, moist greenhouse. He listened to the crisp clipping of pruning shears and the chirping and caroling of visiting sparrows. He listened to the sprinkler hissing a steady stream of mist. And he listened to the summer rain drumming down like thousands of tiny feet on the thick greenhouse glass. Together, the sounds of the greenhouse danced in Maurice's head as he settled in among the papery petals and deep green leaves, Maurice sang confidently along. For Maurice, this was the best feeling of all. And so it was that Maurice spent his days in Uncle Eddie's taxi and Papa's bakery in Mama's office in Grandmother Marcella's greenhouse. Everyone was pleased that Maurice fit so smoothly into their worlds. And in secret, they each believed they knew what this meant. When he grew up, Maurice was going to be just like them. Then one August evening in a small high apartment in the hot bustling city, something wonderful happened. As the sky outside turned a pearly silver pink, Mama and Papa, Uncle Eddie, and Grandmother Marcella gathered in the kitchen, cooking together and talking as they did on many nights. Down the hall, Maurice settled into a bath. It was very quiet, but in the stillness, Maurice felt as though something was missing. He began to think about the clattering city songs of Uncle Eddie's taxi. He thought about the soft, flowery, padding sounds of Papa's morning bakery. He thought about the thrilling buzz of Mama's busy office and the quick chirping and clipping of Grandmother's lush greenhouse. And all at once, Maurice began to sing along to the chorus in his head. 
His clear, smooth voice rose in a great swell, filling the air in the small bathroom. It pushed against the walls and floors and ceiling and overflowed out into the evening air. Mama heard it first. Listen, she whispered, touching Papa on the arm. Together they stood still and listened to the wondrous sounds rolling down the hall and into their steamy kitchen. It was like nothing they had ever heard before. Looking around at one another, all at once they knew. Maurice did have Uncle Eddie's tapping toes and Papa's large hands. He did have Mama's watchful eyes and Grandmother Marcella's delicate nose, but Maurice had something all his own too. He had a voice as sweet and as clear and as rich as a fine gold honey. When Maurice stepped out of the bathroom, he was met with the clapping and cheering of his proud family. They hugged Maurice and kissed him and laughed. They lifted him high into the air and twirled him around like a king. The first singer in the Marcella family, they cheered. Bravo, Maurice. For Maurice, this was the best feeling of all. Hi there, friends, and welcome back. I really hope that you liked this book. I thought it was really cool that Maurice always had a special feeling about certain places and could tie them to a song. And I hope that you have a place or something or someone that gives you that good feeling inside. If you enjoyed this book and would like to see other books I have posted, please visit my channel at the Teachers Read Aloud. Please remember to like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And if there's a book that you want to see featured, please leave me a comment. Thanks. See you next time.